on <clears throat> Taylor here. It's one of the quick video on these old Loman quail calls. Just want to give my two cents on how amazing I think these quail calls are. I've heard some old men give me their opinion on how useless they think calling quail are. Well, I have to 100% disagree. Um, calling quail is something I like to do when I'm pulling up to a spot, give it a couple seconds after I shut my engine off, call a couple times and see if I get any response. Usually puts me on, gives me an idea of where to run the dog or where to walk if I don't have the dog. But ultimately these are impressive. They sound a lot like the birds I shoot. Some of the ones you can buy in the store these days, they have these steel pressed ends, which aren't bad holds the call in place has a thin little rubber band running through it as a kid my buddy showed me how to make these out of uh, some wooden clothespins and uh, wooden clothespins and a rubber band and some black tape or some safety wire one sec and um, those made good qu good calls until I had the cash as a young hunter shooting birds when I was 12 or 13 years old. I started buying these. This was the first one I got. This one's probably uh, 10 or 13 years old. When you buy them, take a look at the cutaway. If it's a big cutout, it's going to be a deeper sound, more like an older bird. I've um, intentionally bought one that's a little thinner to sound like a smaller bird, more like a first year quail, and sometimes I'll alternate, that'll get a rise out of them. I have a buddy who's a machinist, does incredible work, and uh, he spins these on a lathe out of brass, and you can pull off this old stamped steel piece, throw this brass one on, it looks like the older ones, something I'm into. He sells those on eBay. If I can figure out how to work the computer, I'll uh, attach a link so you guys can pick these up for a couple bucks if you're a fan of these old Loman quail calls. You can also get them on eBay from someone who's held on to them. I got this one for, I don't know, 10 or 20 bucks. More than worth it. Just got it this season, so I have yet to use it in the field, but I've used it in my garage. It sounds amazing. This is an actual old one made by Loman. And uh, I'll show you the box and stuff. Comes with some old literature about how badass of a quail hunter you're going to be once you figure out how to use this. Smells like an old man. Smells like an old Bible. A little bit of bubble wrap. Nonsense. Cool old cardboard box. Originally it was two bucks back in the good old days. Wish they still were, but we live in a shitty time. Actually, not wood tricked me but just some cheap cardboard quail call number 115 best call I've ever used I've used probably five or six different brands some made by primos that are orange that you bite down on with your teeth to change the pitch but overall these are the way to go if you're wanting to get some birds my buddy's dad actually was the guy who taught me all about these he was an incredible hunter. He could get birds to pick up and fly over you, which I tell some buddies that at work and they don't believe it, but Buddy's dad's not around anymore. Lucky that he taught me what he did about these while he was around. Sometimes when we pull up to a spot, I'll be on one call and uh, my buddy will be on the other. That'll get a rise out of them because it sounds like we're a covey of quail that they aren't aware of. Or uh, we'll get distanced from each other, start calling with them, and end up walking back towards each other if we, if we get on a covey of birds, shoot a couple down, and then follow them different ways. We'll be over a couple ridges and we'll hear each other calling, come back towards each other. His name's Kevin. I'm sure he's got videos on here. Um, so yeah, pick up some of these little brass ends they look a lot like these older ones that originally came on these old Loman 
It's got it pressed into the wood. Sweet calls though. These things are impressive. It's got a big cutout, got a real deep sound to it. This quail season I'll try to take a video of how good these things work. The newer ones don't have it stamped. And I bought this one last season. No stamping. The cheaper I'm sure that I'm sure they outsource these to some overseas place who doesn't even know what they're making. But these are just stamped steel. A little bit of lacquer on them. Keep them on a shoelace around my neck. I've lost many of them. Keeping them in my pocket. They blend in once you drop these in the woods. Threw them on a shoelace. Not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. Maybe just tie it on around here somewhere. But yeah, that's all I have to say about these quail calls. If you're in the market and uh, you've never used a call while you're shooting quail, get it. Play with it for a few weeks. Just don't don't overuse it while you're shooting birds or you'll scare the hell out of them. But yeah, that's all I have to say about these. Just quality stuff. That's what I like. If you learn how to call, you can do multiple things with them. I've even shot down mountain quail by using these.